Alright guys, so today I want to talk about a new game in development called After Conflict. After seeing this game, I reached out to the devs and they provided me with a key. And you know what, they're actually the first developer to do this, so I'll always remember them for that. And a big thank you to the devs for doing this. So if you like this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more. So After Conflict is a realistic Cold War multiplayer tactical FPS wherein the remnants of NATO and Warsaw Pact forces fight to the bitter end during the latter stages of World War III. What this game is going to offer is multiple factions with NATO, the Warsaw Pact and more such as American, East Germany and Yugoslavia and each faction is going to have their own unique equipment. Realism is going to be a core part of this game. Each weapon is going to have authentic handling, reloading, ballistics, material penetration and damage modelling. Even healing won't be a simple user bandage mechanic, but I don't have any more info on that yet. Here is a quick look at some gameplay we've got from the devs. maps in the game will not be small Call of Duty arenas. I expect them to kind of be similar to Hell Let Loose as the focus of this game is going to be infantry combat. All I have access to at the moment is this firing range. As soon as I can get some gameplay of a round being played from my perspective I will edit it and send it out to you. What I really like about this game considering it's at a pre-alpha alpha stage is the attention to detail the developers are showing. It's the little things like bullet casings being physical objects and bouncing off things and every time your soldier brings out or puts away a weapon they make sure to flick the safety switch. You can see that I'm using tracer rounds and my bullets when I don't hit the target are ricocheting off and these ricocheted rounds are actually still live rounds so they can still hit, damage and kill something. One thing they are bringing to the game is staged reloading. What staged reloading is, is when you're in the middle of reloading a weapon and you've removed the empty magazine but then you switch to a new weapon, when you next bring out that original weapon, that empty magazine won't magically be back in the gun. It's going to have no magazine in it, so all you need to do is finish the reload by grabbing a fresh magazine. And in my opinion that is very cool and I wish Every shooter had this, so big props to the devs. They've also added a blind fire option to this game, which is quite rare for a first person shooter, though it's nice to see something like this being added in. They are also using their own engine instead of the typical Unreal Engine 4 or Unity, so this is going to allow the devs to really tweak the engine to get what they need out of it. I'm going to put links down in the description for the game's Steam page, the Discord and they do have an active Patreon as well. If you're interested in squad, armor, hell let loose then I would highly recommend keeping an eye on this game. So I hope you like this brief look at After Conflict. Stay tuned to the channel for more info on this game. 